Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful, far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hoped to learn something, but I had to destroy them. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I'm just frustrated with my lack of progress. But I'm determined to accomplish my mission. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Why did you shoot me last night? Who cares? You're back this morning, aren't you? Some fragments of memory are lost every time I'm destroyed. Some fragments of memory are lost every time I'm destroyed. It slows down the investigation. My humblest apologies. I promise I'll never shoot you again. Thank you, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. I'm not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The Deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there.
Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? Hmm. After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI will be taking over the investigation. You'll soon be off the case. No, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA9. Deviants say RA9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them.
State your model. Model GB300, serial number 336-445-581. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in, or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed! The Deviants have just been caught. They gave you up. There's no point in lying. I knew everything. Ah! 
Agent Deviant, stop it! Looking for Rose? Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Do you think we can trust them? We don't have a choice. your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs?
can't stop because of me. You've got to get across the border. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Maybe they just need time to understand what we really are. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly!
What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Let them be. Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. Rose gets back soon. Carol, there's something I need to tell you. It's about Alice. Not now, Luther.
We don't want to cause any problems for you and your mother. We'll leave as soon as we can. The police! It's the police! What are we gonna do? They know we're here. We have to open the door. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? No. No, just us. Androids here? No, there are no androids here. to journey without me. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare- That's enough! And now what are we gonna do?
There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people and get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. I've been waiting a long time for this. Okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. The store's over here. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's 10 minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to... Deal with the shop window. Not now, one problem at a time. Okay, now what's next? You are free. The surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach.
infraction is being reported to the police. Stay where you are. What's wrong with you? Are you doing it on purpose? Do you think you can do better than be my guest? Oh, I thought you could handle a drone without alerting every cop in the city. I guess I overestimated you. The cops were coming. I had to do something. Never do that again. Got it? North. We've got to hurry. We don't have much time. What are we waiting for? Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. without me. Nobody should bother us now.
see the alarm system? Found it. Awake now. Go to Jericho. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. Okay, let's go get the truck. end up doing something fun. You don't have to obey them. You're free. You okay? Let's get them out of here.
My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes, to take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm, I'm with you, you Marcus. Marcus! We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! We're with you. I'm with you! I'm with you! Then follow me! Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow.
hundreds of our people. We did it. Marcus. Marcus, what's wrong? What? They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. Now humans will have no choice but to listen to us. They'll be afraid. Fear feeds hatred. I'll take hatred over indifference. Punish a crime with another crime. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Numerous storefronts have been broken with cars vandalized and set alight, leaving many Detroit neighborhoods in chaos. Property was damaged and fires continue to rage in several major districts across the city. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the CyberLife stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? 